Hey, and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to manually create a contact record in Salesforce Lightning. And I'm going to do that using three ways. There are multiple ways to do this. I'm going to show you three of the most popular. Number one, you can actually go right over here on your contacts. Um, that should be at the top under your service applications and you can click new contact. You can also add a contact right by clicking contacts. That's number two and go right over here and say new. Okay. And finally, another way that uh, sometimes is more practical is when I'm actually in an industry, or, excuse me, within an organization record, such as this one, ABC Industries, I can go right in here and actually create a new contact right in there. This can be a stakeholder development or other contact and I can create the contact from within there. So those are three ways. Um, in addition to going right over here and adding this to your global actions, I'm not going to show you all of them. These are the three ways that I'm going to cover in this video. So let's go right over here and click new contact. Now because my Salesforce Lightning is unique to my organization, I have stakeholders, development, contacts, other contacts and standard. My development contacts are my funders. So I'm going to say that is the contact record I am creating. And remember, you can always change those in the global settings, okay? Now, I am creating my contact. I am the owner of this contact. My salutation is that I'm, I met Dr. Fran Delmon, okay? She is a member of ABC Industries in Johannesburg, okay? And she is the CEO of this company and she does not report to anyone. And if I had to report and that person was not in, I could also create that contact. I happened to meet her right as uh, on the website. I emailed her and we're in the initial introductory stages of our conversations. Okay. I could put in her mobile and her email. I'm going to say that her email is fdelmon at abc.com. Okay. So once I have that, I can then begin to add in information, but I'm just going to click save for now. And what this helps me do is I will begin to see her information on this, okay? So Salesforce immediately tells you there's no duplicate contact. Um, I know that she is part of ABC Industries. I could log a call with her and um, even a meeting. I could summarize that right here. I could see the opportunities that she is related to, upload some files. This is incredibly helpful, all right? Especially if I have proposals that I need to submit. I can look at, look at a campaign, add her to a group, signature, or see what questions she has responded to. I can also summarize my events and think about what my next steps are for this contact. Remember, the goal is to shift this person from a contact to an opportunity. And so I'm just kind of going through this process. Something I might want to mention is that the word organization might be interesting to you. And that is because in general, we use the account rather than the organization. I, in our organization, have actually shifted this word to include organization and not account, just because of the way we use it, okay? So this contact is related to this organization. You might say that this contact is related to this account. So that's the simple way to add. Um, and if I ever want to edit the information of my contact that I've just met, I can use the pencil right over here and I can add information in and then click save and then her information will be updated. So this is a very simple way to do this um, and I will be covering more complex ways in other videos.